My name is Dr. Neil Goldenberg, and I'm a hematologist at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, where I also serve as the director of research. A hematologist is a physician who takes care of patients who have blood disorders, and in my case, I focus my clinical care and my research on something called thrombosis and stroke. Thrombosis is blood clotting in the vessels. It affects about 1 in 200 children, especially in the ICUs. My first interest in hematologist came actually when I was a medical student and I went on to get really frustrated by the fact that in children with blood clots we had very little ability to understand their long-term outcomes and how we could predict their long-term outcomes. Currently, I'm working in a number of research studies. The largest one is uh, serving as a leader for a multinational clinical trial called KidsDot, which looks at uh, defining the optimal duration of blood thinner treatment for children with blood clots of the veins. We're collecting blood specimens not just from Johns Hopkins All Children's, and not just Johns Hopkins, but from around the world in pediatric thrombosis patients. And in this way, for the years to come, we're going to be able to use these samples to identify new targets for therapy and be focused on how to improve the outcomes of thrombosis in children by tailoring the treatment with blood thinners. I also am involved uh, in a number of precision medicine studies here at Johns Hopkins All Children's and these studies are longitudinal patient-based studies where we follow children over time throughout the course of their clinical care. We hope to make connections about risk factors for disease and predictors of disease outcome. Pediatric research is really challenging, so we need to develop areas of expertise and centers where pediatric research is the focus, and that's one of the things that makes Johns Hopkins All Children so exciting to work at. Taking care of children and doing research in children is really an amazing and unique privilege. Every day I'm really inspired by the strength that these children show. I'm always amazed at how a parent or a child can be so courageous to participate in research and to really, in most cases, know that participating in research is going to benefit future children with diseases like theirs is just an incredible altruistic uh, contribution.